Hey guys, Wes Jones here with Keller Williams and sellwithwes.com and Halloween is around the corner and it got me thinking about haunted houses and some of the houses that we have sold over the years and whether you believe in it or not, I've sold enough houses where there's enough stories where it makes me wonder, it makes me really think. And the first story I'm gonna share with you, I've told before, uh, but I'm going to share it again, and then I've got a new, more recent one. So the first story happened about eight years ago, and we were getting ready to sell a property. We were putting it through our concierge service where we go in and we renovate the home you know prior to the sale and we've got a lot of construction going on and then the buyer gets to pay all of those upgrades at closing so this client is actually a personal friend of mine he is a gentleman that I've known for over 25 years going back to our college days and when he asked me to sell his home he we decided that it needed some of those cosmetic updates we went and we did the works we were doing paint we are doing hardwood floorings there is a ton of dust around the house and so he had moved out of the house but went back and met the contractor on a Monday on a Monday morning and the contractor you know they do their pleasantries and whatnot and said oh hey by the way like I saw that you might have been here in here over the weekend and you know maybe with one of your kids and and my client said no um, actually I, I wasn't here over the weekend I don't have any kids so I don't know what that could be about and the contractor said, gosh, that's so weird because there was a little kid's footprints all over the house in the dust and even up on top of some of the dressers and all over the place. And at that point, that's when my client, this, the hair on his body all stood up and he had a flashback back to about 10 years before when he first bought the house and he had fallen asleep in his living room and he had woken up at about two in the morning and what appeared to him was a three-year-old girl standing in between him and the kitchen and then he made eye contact with her for three or four seconds closed his eyes opened them back up and she was gone and he said he never really thought about that again until the contractor brought up the little kid's footprints in the dust all over the house. Just absolutely, just that one, that one just gets me every single time. The second ghost story is something that actually happened more recently this summer to a property that I purchased as an investment flip. And when I bought this property from the owner, um, she had mentioned that her husband had passed a number of years ago in the home and I just jokingly said, oh, is he still here? Um, or do you still feel him feel him from time to time? And she said, yeah, I do. Yeah, he's, he, he's still here. And, it, and I didn't think a whole lot of it, you know, and um, moving on as we're, again, doing more repairs and we're getting this place up to snuff, my painter had driven a long way to paint this house. He actually asked if he could spend the night in the house so he didn't have to drive home so far. I said, sure, go ahead. And then the following day, we asked him, hey, how was it? You know, how'd you sleep? And he said, yeah, everything was fine, but I didn't sleep a wink. And I said, well, well why not? He said, upstairs was very creaky. Somebody was walking back and forth between the two rooms upstairs all night long. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? These are the story, this has not happened to me personally, but these are what I am hearing from properties that I am working on, uh, from people that I trust. I've heard some other ones throughout the years. You sell enough houses, you hear enough stories, but I don't know. After all this, I think that I'm a believer and I think that there's something to it, whether it's a ghost, whether it's an energy or a spirit, but I would love to hear your thoughts and thanks for listening. Happy Halloween. Thank you.